Hi, welcome to Pathology Riddles. It's been some time that we have uploaded videos on this channel because we got caught up with something. But from now onwards, we make a commitment that every Monday there will be a release of a new video on this channel. And if we get time, we will post more during the week. So do stay tuned and subscribe in case you haven't yet. So what do we deal with today? Leukemoid reaction. Do wait till the end of the video to get a useful tip. So what do we mean by leukemoid reaction? It is an excessive leukocytic response in peripheral blood. Excessive leukocytic response means the total leukocyte count will be greater or equal to 50 into 10 to the power 9 per liter. If you want it in microliters, it will be greater or equal to 50,000 cells per microliter. Along with this, there will be shift to left. Shift to left means all the precursors of the WBCs will be in the peripheral blood. That is, in case of neutrophils, there will be band forms, metamyelocytes, myelocytes and so on. Based on the predominant cell type, they can be divided into four types. That is, neutrophilic type lymphocytic type, eosinophilic type, and monocytic type. Next, we will discuss a few examples of each of these types. The most common type that we encounter in our practice is neutrophilic leukemoid reaction. A few examples are Hemolysis, when there is breakdown of RBCs or when there is loss of blood like in hemorrhage, there will be accompaniment of increased neutrophil count and it will go up to greater than 50,000 per microliter. In other cases like malignancy with bone metastasis, Hodgkin's lymphoma, we can also encounter this neutrophilic leukemoid reaction. Other causes include myelofibrosis, infections, severe burns, eclampsia, and toxin exposure. The next type is eosinophilic leukemoid reaction. This is mainly seen in children who have got parasitic infestation. The lymphocytic leukemoid reaction is seen in infectious mononucleosis and pertussis while monocytic leukemoid reaction is seen in miliary tuberculoid cases and few cases who are on treatment for myelodysplasia. So coming to the useful tip, whenever there is leukemoid reaction case in your department, do study all the cells, all these precursors. Check out images in your textbooks, in the atlas, as well as on the authentic sites on the internet. This will help you to identify the precursors in the bone marrow and bone marrow counting becomes easy as a postgraduate. So that's a useful tip. I hope you will do it. And that's all for today. This is Dr. Susan signing out until we meet in the next video.